ESPN's wide world of sports home today to a national champion in the 18 Open Final between Sports Performance 18 Elite out of Illinois and ASIC's Muncie, Indiana Samurai out of Indiana. The path to the final round has been anything but easy for each of these teams. Hi, I'm Nolan Alexander, joined by the former all-conference outside hitter at UCF, Aaron Campbell. Aaron, today we get to see so many of these young girls off to college but playing some of their last games as a junior. And that's what makes it really fun to watch the 18s because they play really free. Yes, they still play competitively, but it's really their last opportunity to just enjoy the sport of volleyball, and that's why it's so much fun to watch. Let's get to know the stars of tomorrow right now. Starting with ASICS in Muncie, Indiana. A lot of big Division I athletes going off to the next level, but keep an eye out for number one, Murr. She's the libero. Ohio State is where she's going. Number five, Shaftmaster, Minnesota. She's setting. And then you have number nine, Parker. She's the captain. She's also leading the offense in the 6-2 and off to Penn State next year. Harris will take the floor for sports performance. Again, a lot of Midwestern schools here, a lot of Division I schools. Keep an eye out for outside hitter, outside hitter Land Fair. She's going off to Minnesota. Number 51, Barnhorst, Army, West Point, and then a lot of other players on this team are going to contribute, including close the libero. Coaches Cheryl Butler and Michael Lingenfelter are each in charge of these powerhouse programs. Today, one goal, a national championship here from the HP Fieldhouse. Here's the ground rules today. Playing to 25 in each of the first two sets, and should we reach a third and decisive set, it's only to 15. And we saw that earlier in the international final, where the winner today in this national final advances to the world championship, and we are underway for the HP Fieldhouse. And already have our second point of the match. So picky up in progress here from Champions Court. Let's see, Munciana. And the All Blacks to your right, Sports Performance, and the Navy Blues to your left. And keep in mind, these players, these teams, they're both in the same region, so they play each other a lot, very familiar with one another, so they're going to know each other's styles pretty well, having been able to kind of scout them in match throughout the course of the season. Is there anything generic in the style of play that we're going to see in this Midwestern matchup? Yeah, a lot of really good outside attacking. Setters making awesome choices. Number nine, Parker, getting her first big swing of the match so far. Again, she's a setter, but they run her on that 6-2, so they get her in the front row as well. Penn State's getting a fantastic player out of number nine, Parker. She's the captain for the Samurai squad. And here's Lauren Gibbs, a future Michigan State Spartan serve. And a lot of plays like that, a lot of slides, a lot of quick tempo. Good passing leads to metal activation early. And you see Barnhorse going to Army West Point next year, gets that really nice slide swing. Great tempo to start out this match between both of these squads. They are energetic, they're ready. And remember, Open is the best division of each age group. So we are literally seeing the best of the best at this entire tournament with the 18s in the Open final. This is the exciting volleyball here. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Huge dig by Murr. Incredible effort on the back line. Unforced error, but Murr sliding in there with the backhand, keeping that ball alive. And another point for Asics Munciana. It's coach Michael Lingenfelter said his team is built on a fast tempo and liking to keeping it in the middle. Ball control and speed is what this program prides itself on. But he said that middle is going to be difficult today with the length of sports performance. Yeah, and again, there's so much history in these programs of elite players going off to the next level. This is exactly what you'd want to see in the 18 Open Final. A lot of college, a lot of college coaches, and then anybody else that's in the gym right now stops at this court to watch because it's literally the best of the best. It's Cheryl Butler for sports performance 18 Elite.
Oh, huge dig by Murr. And I, I love that set play by Sports Performance. They're running their middle on a three. They have their four on the outside. Then they allow their middle back Landfair to come up as a pipe. So they're adding a third option to their attack, even though they only have technically two in the front row. Making a Slavic serve. Another point. And just a huge block from sports performance. That's one thing they're typically known for is their discipline in every skill that they have. So a good discipline block from LeBoy, who's going to Western Michigan. And this is the one thing to keep an eye on as you watch the 18s is how they control the out of system plays. They're so much more calm, cool and collected and, and really better that second ball for attacks. Cheryl Butler huddling open sports performance after the timeout by the Samurai. And Cheryl Butler is legend in the sport of volleyball. She's always had a team in the championship match at this tournament, and the girls just respect her. She's had a lot of experience. Her style is very, very Olympic. So she plays very at the Division I level. She coaches them to be efficient attackers at the next level. And I think a lot of people in the gym and in this tournament really respect what she's been able to do with these junior girls. You said Olympic style. What all goes into that? So it's they play very, very like t like long points. So they want to control the tempo of the match as much as possible. They want to have good ball control and they want the sets to be a little bit higher. Let the attackers use their athleticism to go get the ball unless it's a tempo attack. That's a different story. But in the set plays, they're just going to keep things as simple as possible. Let the athleticism come out. Bonnie Bostic here with the serve. She's done an incredible job with the books throughout high school. She's off to Yale next season. Two straight for the Samurai. And we're kind of seeing that typical different style of volleyball. So on the one side for sports performance, they're all about kind of long volleyball. They're playing that Olympic style for like Manciana and Samurai. You said earlier they want to work on speed. They want it to be fast. So you're kind of seeing the two different camps of volleyball playing right now. Mancia looking to a matter run. Another Bostic serve. Oh, huge block. Right side denial, Samuel LeBull and Natalie Mitchum. So pressed over the net, even though that right hand's off a little bit more than that left hand, she's still able to get that good block, hit her forearm and slam the ground. Oh, that was crazy heads up came into her hand i've never seen that is bizarre almost i've never <laughs> seen that happen before hits her she like double armed it with her forearms and it had this weird side spin back spin on it very hard to play defense against those are the type of plays we'll see in an 18 open final. yeah it's just like i don't even know how you do that <laughs> athletically like you're making it way complicated than i ever thought it was Aaron's over here trying to act it out with her hands. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I almost hit Nolan a few times so far. Playing to 25 here in the first set, a best of three to determine the 18 Open National Champion in advance to the World Championship. I love those, the slide ones, especially out of serve receive. Good joust win. Oh. Wells in the net. But I love those, I love that slide one that Barnhorse ran on that first play. Gets right back in. 
Oh, it wasn't even Wells. It was number nine, Parker. Good call by the officials. Oh, my. Taylor Landfair went all the way up to Minnesota to swat that one down. And kudos to the setter, Slavic. Look at that set location. Perfect as she's falling away from the ball. First kill for the future Golden Gopher. Smiles for Coach Butler. You can see a great showing of support for each of these squads. And then back behind the serve, the Dominican team doing some scouting. And we're seeing a lot more energy in this match than we did the first set. Now, how will that play out when we see the next set? I mean, totally two different styles even going into that set. We don't even have the winner determined yet, but we know it's going to be a lot more energetic. I felt like such a liar in our previous <laughs> broadcast. The coaches have both said we're, we play happy, we're charismatic, there's lots of energy. And maybe it was just the 9.30 start. Yeah, or the, the implications ladies. of an international mm -hmm. championship. You know, they, they took it very seriously and showed in their play. Landfair serve. And here comes Muncie clawing back at this sports performance lead. And that's something we haven't seen too much of in the early on. Yeah, especially at this level, you definitely have the, the serve down, the serve control down. Oh, great dig. I love that play call. I think that is just absolutely brilliant. Give That's props great. to Slavic. Again, she's chasing the ball. It's in front of her. Then she dishes the ball back right. 49. Landfair is back row. So both of her attackers are on the right side of the court. Everyone thinks she's going to dish the ball that way. And then she bails it out on that right back attack. It's just adding a third option when you don't have it. And a huge save by Setter Shaftmaster. I did not think, look at this. She's off the net, then she forces the ball all the way out of bounds. She's past that other side pin and sets that ball out to her player, Bostic, who just unloads on that play. Bostic has been strong for the outside. You know Yale is loving that. And Murr making the miraculous dig out of that in almost the exact perfect spot for her setter to make the play. The libero up to serve. Oh, huge dig again. Murr. Look at her all over the place. Oh, uh, can't get her three times, but wow. I'm like getting the chills watching this girl back here. She is amazing at defense. That is that is what you want out of, it, out of a libero. They just own that backcourt. Nothing hits the floor. That's Olympic style. That's huge play by Murr. And she's off to Ohio State. There's Alaya Wells, who we haven't mentioned yet. Look at the future Alabama Crimson Tide. Commit. Oh, great swing. High off the hands. Good block at the net, but when you have someone like Landfair who just has that full extension, I mean, look at her against the net. Look at those hands. She's almost reaching over the net as she's standing there. <laughs> Add her physicality, her vertical to that. She's hitting over everybody. Four kills for Landfair thus far. Yeah. 
And that's a great block. And good adjustment by Coach Ling Lingenfelter. He tells his players, hey, we're not blocking zone. We're blocking ball. So good job by Parker. Steps right in front of the attack. And if you can see how far discipline and how tight to the net that right arm is, she's pressing that over to protect the end line to get that block. Michael Lingenfelter bringing in Asics Muncie, Indiana, the Samurai squad. Cut it down to a two-point lead for sports performance. What's it going to take here for Asics to overcome this hump and take the lead here? It seems it's been a couple of points here, two or three point runs, but sports performance won't let them get too close. Yeah, I think it's all led by their defense, Murr. When she stepped in, when the libero stepped in and said, OK, we're not letting anything hit the floor, that's when we see that switch come in. And you don't want to give points away like that. Mm -hmm. That is certainly not what you want to do after a timeout. Playing to 25 here in the first set in a best of three for the 18 Open National Championship for the HP Fieldhouse. So the teams go back to back, handing out points. Already six service errors for A6 Samurai. Landfair's been electric. And it's just hard to defend her because she doesn't hit around the block. She hits over it. So as a defender, you can see everybody's playing really disciplined perimeter defense. But number 12, Wells, is stuck behind that block. She can't see that play. And when someone swings over it, it's just hard to make the, make the read. Bella Rosenthal. Off to Auburn University in the fall. Gibbs with a serve. And huge dig by Gibbs. You have to be able to convert those points. Landfair serve. And you have to applaud Lesiak for hitting high off of those hands. But that discipline block forced the ball back on their side of the court. Everybody wants to block that ball tight or cover that ball tight because they know it's going to land on the 10-foot line. That's just a really hard play to make. Oh, great save. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Moore again. <laughs> Superwoman in the back row. She is out of control. Huge play by Landfair to make some kind of play after that first ball comes over. Slows the match down. Slows the point down. Slavic tosses it back over. Murr's like, not today. And any time that the ball is with is only like a few feet away from her on that 10-foot line, that's the only play she can't make so far. She's been all over that backcourt. Playing the 25 here in the first set. Winner needs to take it by at least two points. Murray up to serve. Oh, wow, what a dig. And Bostic throws it down. And Bostic has been lights out for Munciana. She is playing some awesome volleyball on the left hand side. Huge dig. Great set by Slavic to just kind of slow the ball down. Block gives her way too much line, but she still goes cross court. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth Labou. Excellent effort on the dig, and there's Cheryl Butler staring into her huddle. Sports performance has held the lead for almost the entirety of this first set. But Asics Manciana has slowly climbed back, just kept on chipping away, cutting it down to this one-point lead. 
Murr again. I mean, every point we've seen in this match so far is like, what? How? How are people playing like this? Like, this is amazing volleyball. Fourth kill for Bostic. There's another look at it. Went super sharp cross the last attack. Just went a little bit more deep into that seam. Constantly mixing up where they attack the ball. And sports performance. Now it's set point. And a timeout on the floor. Aaron, just what you would expect here to open up this 18th Yeah, this final. is so much fun. Like, this is literally watching the NCAA tournament. I mean, we're seeing some really elite volleyball. And that's what's so cool about club, too, because you're kind of getting the best from every school mm -hmm. on one team, like, in your region. So it's, it's a lot like college in that way, that you're not just picking from, you know, the, the public school or whatever it is. You're getting everybody that's the best of the best in the region and then matching them up against each other. More volleyball this afternoon. Winner to the World Championship against the Dominican Republic. And we'll close it out with the 16 Open Final. All here from Champions Court at the HP Fieldhouse. And a block to win. Gotta love it. <laughs> you can smile when you take it off the face because it's set point and sports performance moves one step closer to a national championship in the 18 Open. Set two up next from the ESPN Wide World of Sports. The ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex at Florida's Walt Disney World Resort is your amateur basketball destination. Offering multiple tournaments for athletes from youth to collegiate level that attracts NCAA coaches from top programs nationwide. To find out how your team can compete here, visit DisneyBasketball.com. The ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex is a cutting-edge multi-sport facility. Leads the way for the time to the 10-5. Touchdown, USA. Athletes from over 70 countries compete in more than 60 different sports, all at the center of the Walt Disney World Resort in Florida. Walked at the net, and there it is. A returning champion has done it again. For more information, visit ESPNWWOS.com. Hey, ready? Ready. Ready? Vamos. Hola, ma. Darling. Ready? Ready. The Junior NBA World Championship. 32 elite boys and girls teams from around the globe will compete. For a chance to be named Junior NBA World Champions. The Junior NBA World Championship. Get ready. Ready on three. In, on, set. Ready. We got off to a blazing start in the 18 Open Final from the ESPN Wide World of Sports with sports performance edging out Asics Muncie Samurai. Stars have emerged on the floor. Libero play premium today with Murr. And Kylie Murr made some miraculous digs. I thought that that one was the fluke. And then she comes back with five, six, seven more just all out crazy digs. Dig location perfect slows the ball down off these really powerful swings and just keeps the rally going. They're really going to rely on her in this set as they really need to kind of tighten up that defense a little bit. Another future Big Ten opponent, Taylor Lanfair. And when we saw Lanfair standing at the net just with her arms at the net, she was almost already over. You add her athleticism of the height of her swing and the height of her jump, she is so lethal because she's hitting over the block, not around it. She's off to Minnesota. It's going to be fun to watch Big Ten Volleyball with Murray, Ohio State, Landfair at Minnesota for years to come. And they're not the only ones off to the Big Ten. Both of these rosters dotted with college signees overall, and especially in the Heartland. And keep in mind, Minnesota, their coach, Hugh McCutcheon, was the former 
U.S. Olympic volleyball coach. So he knows the style of play that it takes to come at the next level. And he sees something in Landfair that she's going to be such a lethal weapon, even at the almost Olympic level. These teams have switched sides. Sports performance in the blue to your right. A6 Munciana. And the all black to your left. And I love that swing by Ivy. I love those one slides, fast tempo, get the middle involved early off of that one foot. Those are my favorite middle attacks. Oh, great dig. Three nothing lead for the Samurai right out of the gate. And Hernandez kind of mishit that ball, but when you're expecting as a defender that the ball is going to come at you at 100 miles an hour, a mishit is kind of a, a big change on that defense. So huge swing by her. Gains her fourth kill of the day. You can feel the intensity out of Muncie here in the second set. Michael and Lingenfelter emphatic on the sidelines. And what they didn't do in the first set was play efficient vault. And so far, they've been able to do that. Five nothing. And a timeout taken by Sports Performance. And what a response from Munciana. They're coming out and saying that first set was a fluke. We are dominating. They also had a lot of serving errors in that first set, which led to a big difference between these two teams. So, so far, they've narrowed down those unforced errors and have taken a huge lead, especially when the first set goes 23-25. Mm -hmm. I mean, any point you can get at this point is really, really critical because you know the set's going to be close. That last kill by Michael Ivey. She and teammate Lauren Gilliland off to Ball State. They'll be joined by Natalie Mitchum, 85, for sports performance. There she is. Wells again to serve. A fantastic dig. Wow, that was awesome. Good job by Mitchum. Huge defense, though, by number 12, Wells. Middles can't play defense. She just said, uh-uh, I can. Huge dig. Good rally at the net by Mitchum. Good court awareness. Just knew she needed to get the point. Why not just dump it over? I know you're an outside hitter at UCF, Aaron, but you seem to get more excited with the best defensive players you've I seen do. today than on offense. I love defense because defense, it's it sets the tempo for everything. If you play lazy defense, then your team doesn't have anything to get super excited about. And if they get a good dig and then a huge kill out of it, that's, that's exactly what you want. It's going to add so much more power to it. Samuel LeBoll off to Western Michigan. Gives one of those Big Ten commits. Headed to Michigan State. There goes Murr, just like, yo, here I am playing defense, even though her team was in the net. She is always around. She is always making big defensive plays. The serve is long. Dig by Murr. Big surprise there. <laughs> <laughs> That's Ivy up the middle. And Ivy looking a lot like Michael Jordan, just dunking that ball at the net. Comes over nice and tight. Good long rally. Puts that ball away. And a huge play, huge play by Bostic. Goes off the hands intentionally. Mitchum's a great blocker. Ball's a little bit too tight. She didn't have the full arm swing. You can see her almost protect herself from that end line on the play. And great kill from her on the outside. 
seen a handful of service errors thus far in the match between these squads. And the more aggressive, I think the coaches are happy if the ball goes out of bounds and is an error. But if it goes into the net, that's what really irks them. But at least you're trying to do something, you know, make it a hard serve or do something, force them to make a play and make a judgment on it. A6 Munciana raced out to a 5-0 lead here in the second set, trying to even out in this best of three. Mercer. And that's who Spry or Sports Performance needs to get activated. She has to go the back row now. But that was their lethal weapon in the first set. Look at that attack. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Huge swing by Landfair. She is such an athlete. Six kills for Taylor Landfair. Anything you can do, I can do just as good, says Bonnie Bostic. And I love that play call. You're stacking Bostic on the right-hand side. Shaftmaster said, okay, I know you have to bail out all the way to the outside, but just stop in that 32 zone first. The blockers didn't track her well enough, and she just went sharp cross. But you can get a sense of how much momentum shifts when you have a service error. Huge swing by Bostic. They're going back there. They have all this energy, and then the ball goes out of bounds, and it just stops it dead in its tracks. That's the 11th service error for these teams today. Make it 12. Now 12. <laughs> very, very high number of service errors. Even when you're playing competitively, that is a really high number, almost unacceptable because you know how good, you know you've practiced so much, you've practiced serving so much in your life that you should have that zeroed in. Another look. Mallory Hernandez. That's the thing, because these teams are so good defensively, when you see balls go off the arms into like a shank or something like that, you know how hard that ball is being hit because these defenders make good reads. They're in the right spot almost 90% of the time. If it goes off their hands, it's just because there's so much heat on the ball mm -hmm. that they can't make the right move to protect the end line. Seven-point lead for A6 Munciana Samurai. Attempting to even out the second set in a best of three for the 18 Open National Championship from the HP Fieldhouse at ESPN's Wide World of Sports. And how exciting is it for both of these teams that have been playing AAU volleyball for so long? It culminates, their journey culminates here at the Walt Disney World Resort this weekend. Yeah, it's kind of like what Pey what was it? Peyton Manning he said he was going to Disney World or Eli yep. Manning. These girls get to do that now, right? They get They're to go here. to Disney World in their last match and enjoy it and play and have fun and play. You know, they're so competitive, but they they have fun in this in competitive environment, mm -hmm. and that's what's so fun to watch. It's a rewarding ending, and some of these girls already packed up for the next level. You told me before this broadcast you did that at UCF. They come ready to go. They're going to hit Summer B as soon as this tournament concludes. Because of how intense Division I preseason is, if you don't go to Summer B, you're at such a disadvantage from just an overall strength and fatigue standpoint. You have to get your body ready for three a days because if you don't, you're going to suffer. You're not going to get the max amount out of those two weeks of just sheer three-a-day practices and sheer torture. You want to be as strong as possible. These girls have awesome fundamentals, but when you're adding in weightlifting and sprinting and all of that stuff into three-a-day practices, it's really important that they go in early to experience it. You know, it's really hard to agree with you when you say you want to get there for three-a-day torture practices. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd rather be a little bit stronger than you are now when you get to that point, so it's not as gruesome and painful as it is. There's a lot of wells up to serve for the Samurai. And remember, these girls are big fish in small ponds right now. They go to the next level, they're freshmen, they start their system back over. So you always wanna have advantage. And think about that. These girls are the worst of their probably teammates at the next level, and they are elite, elite players. So that just speaks to the level of competition that the Big Ten and the SEC have. They're just so good at volleyball, and they have some really, really prestige programs there. Back-to-back -back points for sports performance. Lisiak.
Off to Northwestern with a serve. And it stays in. And every time we've seen a Penn State setter go to the next level and play for Russ Rose, they have a very specific style. They're offensive minded. They have the ability to play all the way around and do so at an elite level. Even though they're setting, they still are effective all around the court. There goes Landfair again. And she shows that arm swing really late. So as a defender, it's hard for me to read that. So she's going over me, and she's hard to read. Eighth kill for Johnny Parker. And that one had some mustard on it. And Murr reading that sharp cross. Good job by Landfair to read that and go down the line. It doesn't have to be as powerful. It just has to be in the right spot. And she, she does that. She's so good at reading that defense. And I like watching Bostick play because she doesn't really She's kind of that stereotypical outside hitter. Yes, she's brilliant. She's going to Yale, but she kind of doesn't think too much on the court. She just lets herself play, and her, her elite performance just carries her throughout the attacking. She's just such a good player. She's racked up eight kills. She spoke too soon. Yeah, like just a big ball, <laughs> like just a big, they always say big, dumb outside hitter, and I, she plays like that. She's not that, but I love that she plays like that. She just has that sense of, like, I'm just here to play. I'm not going to think about it. I'm just going to let it happen and leave it all on the court. Oh, I can tell you she's not dumb. She's off to Yale. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> she, might, she might look like she's playing dumb, but she's not. That's for sure. The Samurai raced out to a 5-0 lead, have not looked back in this second set as we played at 25 at the HB Fieldhouse. Boston! Give props to Aliyah Wells, my gosh. Knew that ball was going over the net. She tracked that thing down like a shark. She was watching that ball across the net, goes up, blocks heavy on the ball, forces some free ball situation, and then here comes Bostic with her 10th kill of the match. 10 for 10. And the Samurai have their largest lead of the match. Can you tell who has the momentum? Yeah. <laughs> and look at Wells again. Jeez, that ball is so... And that's the thing. It's coming off the attacker's hands at a certain speed. It's hitting her hands so fast that the ball's almost hitting the floor before the attacker is. That's how pressed over that net she is. She is changing the direction of the ball to go straight down. And there she goes again, three blocks in that entire rally. She is so disciplined. Lateral movement, left and right, look at this. She's tracking that ball. She checks the setter, looks at the ball, goes back to the attacker, and steps right in front of that attack. Two kills, two blocks, and a dig for Wells. Give her and another one. Asics, Matsiana Samurai, run away with a second set and force a do or die for the 18 Open national title. Sprinted out to a 5-0 lead and never looked back. We'll crown a national title after this third set, and it's coming up next from the ESPN Wide World of Sports. Hey. 
Ready? Ready. Ready? Vamos. Hola, ma. Darla. Ready? Ready. The Junior NBA World Championship. 32 elite boys and girls teams from around the globe will compete. For a chance to be named Junior NBA World Champions. The Junior NBA World Championship. Get ready. Ready on three. In, on, sir. Ready. ESPN Plus. Thousands of live events. Exclusive releases. The entire 30 for 30 collection. Available on the ESPN app and ESPN.com. All of this and more exclusively on ESPN+. Plus. Start your free trial now. Disney Soccer Tournaments presented by AS Roma provides players of all ages and skill levels the opportunity to compete against athletes from across the U.S. and around the world. From 3v3 youth tournaments to elite showcase events with hundreds of college coaches in attendance, playing soccer at the ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex has something for everyone. To find out how you can play here, visit DisneySoccer.com. And we find ourselves with a third set to decide the 18 Open final between teams from Illinois and Indiana. Johnny Parker, number nine for the Samurai Dynamite today, Aaron. And we talked about kind of what style of play that Penn State Russ Rose likes, and it's a player like Johnny Parker. She's so multidimensional. Yes, she sets, but she does everything well. She's a she's the full package. She's kind of like a utility player, but she's the most elite utility player you can find. Remember Penn State's that one team that went undefeated like three years in a row? Yes, that Penn State. She is that good, and she is an all-around amazing athlete. Playing to 15 here in this third and final set instead of 25. Each team still needing to win by at least two. First set went to sports performance 25 to 23. And then, then Asics Munciana Samurai 25 to 12. And a dead on sprint to capture set two. She's been a big performer today. Kylie Murr, future Ohio State Buckeye. Fantastic defensively. And they rode her back to get within those two points in the first set. Luckily, they've been able to rely on their offense and their blocking to carry that second set. But I know that Murr is going to be a huge part of this third. Shaftmaster again. And Mallory Hernandez taking the bait and going into the net. Didn't get her feet to the ball, had to kind of do a, a panic block, and it was forced into the net. And we have double digit service errors between these teams today. And you can just see the stirring of both coaches like, can we <laughs> not miss another serve? Uh. Taylor Landfair was huge for sports performance in the first set. They'll need her here in the third and final. Yeah, you don't want to leave her with the seam in the block because that's what she'll do. She will just rip it, and there is no looking back for her. She's already hard enough to defend when she has two perfect blocks in front of her. Nine kills for Landfair in the match. Great dig by Murr. Perfect dig location. And rare error by Landfair. If you watch that play, she drops. She almost loses the strength of her core. She breaks that core and relies solely on her arm swing. So it's a different point of contact than she would have if she stayed really tall and kept that core nice and tight. Sends that ball out of bounds. Lauren Gibbs up to serve. Huge kill, Emmy Barnhorst, her third. 
And we called Barnhorst a lot in that first set, relatively quiet because of the passing in the second. But, man, look at that power on that slide. Tie game here in the third and final set. It's Labou on the dig. And a point for sports performance. And you know what? I'm really proud of sports performance for that play because it seemed really sporadic. They like to play that high ball play. They like to slow the match down with their ball control. And that point was a little bit fast, but they executed well off the shoulder of Lesiak. So good point by them. Eighth point for Hannah. And again, Landfair just swinging on the ball. So, so good. She's their bailout in this rotation because she's right back. She's played good defense. She can attack out of the back row. Amazing player. Bostic bounces back for the Samurai. In the first set, we saw sports performance want to run the middle a lot. They've gone to their outsides a lot. They're not running the place that they want. And it's freeing up opportunities for Munciana to make the plays that they want. More efficient outside attackers on both, both players right now and have just been awesome. And then here comes, here comes Lesiak as I say that, as I'm saying that Munciana's outsides are more efficient. Here she comes to cream the ball in the seam. Nine kills for her, 10 for Landfair. Bostic for the Samurai has 11. And a loud denial. And this is a good rotation for sports performance. They have Mitchum in the front row, they have Lesiak and they have the bowl who are really, really good at blocking. So this is a good rotation for them right now. The bowl with four blocks and sports performance wins the first half of this third set, the first to eight. The teams, the fans switching sides here at the HP Fieldhouse. Could be the last game for some of these girls in the AAU junior ranks. These are the Division I teams in attendance out of the top 25. 20 have been here to scout. These girls are off to the next level. They're looking at the next players. And these are all the college ranks. obviously amazingly elite programs. I mean, these are the best of the best. And we're seeing a lot of the same names from this final ranking mm -hmm. on this stat sheet that we're looking at over here. There's a lot of big schools, a lot of big players that are going off to the next level into super elite programs. You want to be noticed? Come to the ESPN Wide World of Sports. We looked at the stat earlier, it's 30,000 players. I mean, yikes! How, as a coach, you're just like, this is the best thing that's ever happened. You have to go to one tournament in the year, <laughs> watch the best volleyball that there is. I mean, obviously, the best volleyball, I weekend. imagine it's hectic to be a college coach, bouncing around court to court, oh, figuring absolutely. out who's where. You know, they have little Palm Pilots that they look at. You know, they've been watching these girls for so long. They know who they want to see. And we'll see that in the 16s level, too. We'll talk a lot about that in the next, in the last match of the day, kind of what coaches do to help them find the players that they're looking for, because 16s are a heavy, heavy recruiting year. And the Samurai have taken it down to just a one-point lead for sports performance. Tie game.
And that's what happens when you don't set your hitters. Slavic tried to make some kind of cheap play, but it's not strong enough. It's not offensive minded enough. It was a free ball situation. And that's exactly what happens in long rallies against good teams. They're going to take advantage of that. Klaus, the libero for sports performance. All out effort for the dig, but Wells gets the last laugh for the Samurai. And all the momentum was with sports performance at the court switch after the eighth point. But similar to the start of the second set, it's been the Muncie and a Samurai. Off to a rapid fire start. Bonnie Bostic has been huge for the Samurai. Up to serve. Levitation and detonation for Hannah Lizia. And they play really shallow defense against her. She's a she's typically a, a deeper attacker. So if you're playing defense against Lesiak, you have to almost get to the end line and then move forward to make the defense. And sports performance regains the lead. Colossus off to UC Santa Barbara. On the back line again. Landfair giving her team a two point lead. And it's a dangerous rotation if you're playing defense right now for Munciana because you do have Landfair in the back row and they're going to force the ball to her as much as possible. Given cross, takes the line. Super smart outside play. Timeout on the floor. What's Cheryl Butler wanting to discuss here? Talking to her setters, there's been a few plays by Slavic in this match where she's just kind of thrown the ball over the net. You want to make sure you're setting the ball to your attackers. Winner to the world championship with a 1 o'clock start against the Dominican Republic. And we'll close out the action with a 16 open final. If you're with us at 5 o'clock this afternoon from the ESPN Wide World of Sports, Champions Corner, the HB Fieldhouse. Great support for each of these programs today. As we play to 15 to determine a national champion. Great tracking on the backcourt by Kloss. Wants to make sure that ball goes out of bounds. Doesn't even want to risk it. Oh, huge dig by Kloss. Can't keep it alive in sports performance is two points away from a national championship. And what a response. Drops that second set 25 to 12 and comes back playing lights out in the third set. What resilience this team has. Lisiak serve. Match point. And Johnny Parker keeps the Samurai hopes alive. And it's no wonder they go to Johnny Parker. She's not even in the front row. They're just like, we need you to swing on this ball. We have to have you attack. You're our most consistent player. And then they get her to the front row. Shaft master serve. Two in a row. And a timeout on the floor. It's going to take right here for the Samurai to get back in this thing, keep this match alive. It's tough. I mean, you have to 
bear down and play some defense against some really good attackers. You have Lee and Fair in the front row. I would not be surprised if off a good pass, sports performance goes to the outside land fair. And you just have to hunker down and play defense and dig that ball. You have Kylie Murr in the back row. She's lethal on defense, but she can't be everywhere. So it has to be all six players working well to keep to shave off or to to keep off this this championship point. We have a national champion in the 18 Open. Sports performance. Aaron, you tip your cap to both of these teams playing fantastic volleyball today. And they're both just so stacked with elite players. And I'm saying the resilience from that second set for sports performance is unbelievable. They lost 25 to 12. How do you respond to that? And these girls responded with a national championship win in that third set. Kudos to them. They played great volleyball all around. Obviously, we can't say enough about the both sides of the net. and especially number 49 for sports performance in Landfair. She is just phenomenal. Smiles, hugs, and tears of joy. This celebration is on in Illinois. Taylor Landfair was phenomenal for sports performance. Some of her best plays, Erin. And she is just such a phenomenal athlete. I mean, we talked about her height. We talked about her arm swing, and then she adds the, the jump to it. She's just unstoppable. You don't, you can't give her, you try to take something away from you and then she hits you in the other zone. Then you try to take that zone away from her. She's one of those players that you constantly have to try to readjust your defense to meet, but she's just so efficient and so good and is going to be a great asset for Minnesota next year. Final stats from today's championship three set match. And no surprise actually that Munciana had the most kills. They were leading in the second set. Obviously, they had a lot of bombs in that second set, winning 25 to 12. But it was the resilience and the consistent play for sports performance that really led them. Obviously, nine service errors is a pretty staggering number. But when you look at them side by side, they both had a lot of those errors. So it's just all about playing consistent volleyball. The look of a champion, sports performance 18 elite. Crowned today national champions with the 18 open final victory. A world final is set. The Dominican Republic takes on sports performance at 1 o'clock. We hope you'll join us on behalf of our entire ESPN production crew, my partner Aaron Campbell. I'm Nolan Alexander saying so long from HP Fieldhouse at the ESPN Y World of Sports.